modern diamond sector, Antwerp's status can only be compared to that of New York in the world of international banking and finance. For what New York is to the money markets, Antwerp is to the global diamond trade. Antwerp is the diamond industry's primary business center, serving as the headquarters for the largest concentration of companies in the industry, including rough diamond producers, rough dealers, manufacturers, and polished diamond wholesalers. In the diamond trade, ultimately, all roads lead to Antwerp. Antwerp is also the major service provider. The world's two largest diamond banks are headquartered in the city and they're joined by other financial institutions, insurance companies, security, shipping and logistics providers, gem labs, technology and equipment suppliers, and other related services. All within walking distance from one another in the confines of the Diamond Quarter. First and foremost, Antwerp is the center of the open rough diamond market. But also, being home to the largest concentration of DTC site holders, Antwerp also serves as a center of operations for the primary rough market. As a result, diamond manufacturers the world over are dependent upon what the Belgian center supplies and many of them visit the city on a monthly basis. They're served by a network of companies, including major rough diamond producers like BHP Billiton and Rio Tinto, both of whom operate their diamond headquarters in Antwerp. Diamdel. Other producers like Alrosa, Sodium and Arber. Rough diamond wholesale offices. Rough tender operations. and the Antwerpse Diamantkring, which is the world's only diamond exchange specializing in rough diamonds. While mainly the most valuable goods are cut in Antwerp, the city is very much the nerve center from which the diamond cutting is controlled. Rough diamonds are first sorted and planned and then dispatched to cutting plants across the globe. They later return as polished diamonds to be sold to the jewelry markets. Antwerp is also home to hundreds of polished wholesale offices. And to three diamond bourses. The Bourse for Diamanthandel, Diamant Club van Antwerpen, Vrije Diamanthandel, serving the polished diamond trade. Lodewijk van Berken was the first diamond polisher credited with the invention of faceting diamonds. The 550-year-old Antwerp diamond heritage is in many respects the intangible element that sets the Belgian city apart from the other diamond centers and provides special meaning to the term a diamond from Antwerp. The Antwerp diamond heritage denotes knowledge and experience and trust and integrity. All are essential elements when dealing with a valuable product such as a diamond. The Antwerp Diamond Heritage is the foundation of the mission of the Antwerp World Diamond Center, which is the umbrella body and marketing organization that represents the interests of the entire Belgian diamond sector. The Antwerp Diamond Heritage is embodied in participation at trade missions worldwide. It's embodied in the Diamond Office through which all rough and polished diamonds entering the Antwerp Center are channeled and recorded, and where it's ascertained that all merchandise entering the pipeline was obtained from bona fide sources. The Antwerp Diamond Heritage is embodied in the Belgian city's role as a primary source for information related to the diamond and jewelry trades.
Antwerp Diamond Conferences, at which world and industry leaders gather to address the issues of the day, have in recent years become hallmark events for the trade worldwide. All of us know that diamonds are a valued source of employment, of foreign exchange, of tax revenues, of new investments. And the President has laid out a challenge to all of us in the diamond business. How to find that high road of allowing diamonds to be forever. My wife wore a beautiful yellow diamond which came from my home state. And it had uh, what I know Al Gore said last year diamonds have. It had emotional value to us. In the modern global economy, the diamond sector does not operate as a separate entity, but rather as part of a continuum that stretches from the mine right through to the jewelry consumer. The Antwerp diamond sector is ideally equipped to expand its role because of its existing infrastructure, its wealth of knowledge, experience and expertise, and the fact that it's located in a stable economic and political environment in the very heart of Europe. It's fitting, therefore, that the world's most important diamond jewellery design competition is run from Antwerp. This biennial contest attracts entries from thousands of jewellery designers from across the globe. Every diamond adorning a human body stands a diverse business community that brings the product from mine to market. Its control center is located in the square kilometer that is Antwerp's diamond district. In the diamond business, all roads really do lead to and from Antwerp. Diamonds love Antwerp. <laughs> <laughs> 